Hi, I'm Johannes Meyer. I work for Overducon as a trainer and a consultant. In this video, I'm going to talk about PC pumps and I will tell you how they work and where you can use it. Let's start with looking at the parts, the parts of the PC pump. What we have, we have here a cutaway and in this cutaway we have the stator and the rotor. Now, now I'm moving the rotor out. Yeah? Normally this is rotating in the stator and we see also the shape. There are more than one shape for the stators and the rotors because there are quite a few different applications. Yeah? We have, you know, with a very, uh, say, long slope and also with a very short sloped rotor. And these, this has to do with the type of fluid and the amount of pulsation that is resulting in the transfer. So with that in, with, with knowing that, I would like to talk about the animation that we have, because we have a very nice animation where I'm going to now explain how it works inside the pump. In front of us, we see now the animation of um, the PC pump and uh, all the way on the left, we have uh, the motor. In the center, we have the driving shaft for the uh, rotor. And on the right hand side, we see the rotor and the stator. And the stator is, as it says, it's just standing still and um, the rotor is making the motion from going up and down. It's actually spinning inside the, the, the stator. And what we see here is there is a an, an cavity volume change. So while it is rotating, we see that the, the liquid volume in the chamber is moving from small to big and big to small. And here, if we look at, the si uh, at these dimensions very carefully, that first it is big and then slowly it moves over to small and it pushes the liquid from left to the right. And this is the motion that the liquid is going through the pump. It, it's being sucked in by large going to small and it being pushed to the right side. This is how the PC pump works. Let's talk about the applications for a PC pump. Yeah? A PC pump can be very gentle to the uh, products that it's moving. For example, polymers. Uh, polymers we want to work very gentle with. They are sheer, sheer sensitive. We don't want to break it in small, in small pieces. For that, a PC pump is a very excellent pump. But we also have sometimes, you know, uh, fluids with solids, suspended solids. And a PC pump is also excellent for uh, products with suspended solids. So if we look at the applications itself, it's good for shear sensitive, it's good for uh, uh, products with solids, but also with larger particles. The waste in wastewater treatment, for example, it is a preferred pump to to pump sludges because of the um, the amount of solids. So you can also pump a high amount of solids with a PC pump. And um, in many cases, it's also because of the uh, cost of ownership and the operability that this pump is extremely suitable for wastewater because it can do a high variety. Think, for example, if you have a sludge, you don't know what is the viscosity and it doesn't care about that because um, it can pump all these sludges with low and high viscosity. Uh, it's not an issue. So it, there's a lot of applications in the wastewater treatment, but also in the processes when we talk about polymers or paints um, and dosing, you can do dosing with it. So there's a lot of applications as well for a PC pump. So now you know where you can use a PC pumps for, and, and you also know how they work. Yeah. So, but if you have any question remaining, please leave your comments below, and uh, don't forget to hit the like and um, subscribe button, and keep following us, and we will see you soon again. Bye.